Of all the soldiers at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, no one takes his Army commitment more seriously than Peter Cooch. By all accounts, this 36-year-old sergeant does every drill, tackles every task with the same undying devotion. I'll do my job to the best of my ability until the last day I leave the Army. I'll always remember this is the country that I'm serving. His love for this country began in a whole nother world. As one of the lost boys of Sudan, Peter was torn from his parents during the Sudanese Civil War. At the age of eight, he and thousands of other children were forced to trek across the desert on their own. Many died along the way. The lucky ones, seen in this video from a 2001 60 Minutes story, ended up at refugee camps, and a few thousand very lucky ones were eventually allowed to come to the United States. Peter got a job, worked his way through college, and then joined the Army as a thank you to America. As for his mom and dad, Peter never saw them again. I was hoping, that's what I would say, I said, God, I hope my parents are okay. And I, I kept that hope and that faith for a long time. Until just a few weeks ago, when the Army gave him leave and a friend bought him a ticket to go back and see him. His mom especially was completely overwhelmed. As soon as she saw me and we hugged her, that she just collapsed on my hand. Fainted? Yeah, she fainted. After like a good three minutes, she came back up and she put her hands on my head and she started praying before even she said anything, you know. And she said that, uh, I knew all this time that God would bring you back to me. Peter says for the rest of his stay, his parents loved on him like a baby. And although he will return to see them, he says he could never go back. America will always be my home regardless. This is my home. What's amazing to me about you is you're out in the desert for weeks on end. You say you didn't cry. Your friends are dying next to you. You didn't cry. You get to talking about America and you start crying. That's the one thing I, I love this country so much. Sometimes you have to go full circle to see how far you've come. Peter now has a four-year-old boy with more hopes and dreams than he could have ever hoped or dreamt for. Good. All here in the country, he just can't thank enough. <laughs> New at six, a surprise homecoming just in time for Memorial Day. WTOC's Linda Figueredo is joining us from Effingham County, where a member of the Georgia Air National Guard's 117th Air Control Squadron surprised his daughters on their last day of school. It took weeks of planning and a lot of secrecy, but the Horton family says it was worth it as their three daughters were individually surprised by their father today. On the last day of school at Effingham Middle School, Megan Horton thought she was just about to watch the talent show, but it kicked off with a huge surprise. Her dad, Master Sergeant Ray Horton, came home just in time for the last day of school after a six-month deployment. I love you. It, it, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, being gone for six months, missing Christmas and New Year's and, and birthdays that happened, and just being away for six months, this is... This is a homecoming that you dream of. When Master Sergeant Horton saw his baby girl running his way, emotion overwhelmed him. Brought tears to my eyes, I can't lie. Um, this is my baby daughter, so. And the tears wouldn't stop there. Soon after, he arrived at the Effingham County High School to surprise his other daughters. But his eldest, Hannah, found him first. <laughs> Can you do just see me walk by? Then the family went to find the middle child, Emily. He was in such shock, she couldn't even hug her father at first. It was your heart with joy to, to see the happiness that, that you get to see coming home after a long deployment like this. Um, just uh, being able to see their reaction and, and knowing how much they miss me and I've missed them during this time, it's, uh, it's just heart filling. Priceless. Just priceless, made it all worth it. It wasn't easy for their mother, Martha, to keep the whole surprise a secret. Rough, I've had to <laughs> tell fibs to my kids. <laughs> I told them that he was not coming home for another week. The Horton family plans on spending this Memorial Day together, enjoying their father's homecoming and spending much needed time together on a family vacation. Live in Effingham County, Linda Figueredo, WTOC News. 
We have some breaking news. And Kate, I want you to go there, that answer. Oh, oh, oh. For those of you who do not know, that's Kate's dad. And Kate's dad has been in Afghanistan serving our country for about nine months. And Kate has not been able to see him. So this is Sergeant Derek O'Brien, who has been fighting for our country over in Afghanistan. So let's give him a huge... I'm not taking a picture. Say cheese. Grab it for me, my car, and my budget. My money, my choice, my money. You know, it's really warm out there. Did you know he's coming? No, neither one of us did. Do you know? Wow, no. Did you know? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I thought I heard some bathrooms on light go on. Big toe! So you got him in shock. That's why I can't So I went back to my doctor again. We just couldn't play. I'll control my eyes. Dad, like, looks right out of the tube. It didn't sink in. I'm like, what are you doing here? And then Dad goes sinking in. I drove. Don't you want to see him? Here's the kid here. I took a plane and then I got a car and then I drove. Damn! Guess who's known for months? We have an increased risk of being hospitalized for asthma problems. Remember? I had a feeling, but I said, no, I'm wrong. I don't think I know what he told me, Mom. Remember when Aunt Lois was there and we were having that problem with that dog? Congratulations. Thank you. In the woods? Was that Mitchell? Oh, yes. Was that Mitchell? Wow. It's a good choice to help control my asthma all day and night. You can stop now. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!
<laughs> he was gonna be here. <laughs> oh, oh good one, Amanda. <laughs> good one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a family whose dad is serving in Afghanistan this Christmas decided to welcome home other soldiers, lucky enough to make it home for the holiday. But the best present of all was making his way down the jetway. <laughs> First Lieutenant Kenyon Nelson of the Army Reserves has been deployed in Afghanistan since February, but his commanding officer saw to it that he made it home before Christmas. And his wife saw to it that the kids had no idea. Nelson spending his first moments with the kids he hadn't seen in nearly a year. 16-year-old Sabion, 13-year-old Ajani in tears, and a long hug for the youngest, 9-year-old Kadir. It was a hero's welcome in Gretna. Two of our military's bravest paid a visit, spreading their message of inspiration and courage to local youths. KTV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has the story. Gretna High School students bearing American flags lined the main entranceway Thursday. The patriotic presentation in place to welcome Sergeant Major Brad Casal, United States Marine Corps, and Taylor Morris, an explosive ordnance tech with the U.S. Navy. Two heroes. Severely injured fighting for our country. Deployed to Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, uh, blew off parts of all four limbs. Morris's equipment didn't detect that underground IED back in September 2012. Casal sustained gun and shrapnel wounds while protecting a fellow injured Marine in the Battle of Fallujah. But Morris and Casal overcame all odds and survived. Now they focus on our country's future. Spreading a message of inspiration and courage. You face it every day in life. I mean, you're, you're not going to encounter and go through life without facing adversity. Facing and overcoming adversity. Something Morris says can't always be done alone. You can wing it on your own, or you can, you know, look up to somebody that, uh, you know, you kind of agree with the way they did things and, and try to follow that as best you can. Former Army Captain and now Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman also spoke at Thursday's event. These men willingly and women put their life on the line so that we enjoy all the freedoms we have today. Sergeant Major Casal cracked a couple jokes, but left students with some sage advice before departing the stage. If you just have two things, if you use two things, this and this, if you use your head and put your heart into it, you'll accomplish anything. And now it's up to those students to lead us into the future. Reporting in Gretna, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. How many balls are there in all? Did not expect that. What the <laughs> heck is that? You're like a little baby. Soft. <laughs> 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 <laughs>